Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So happy to be here with you tonight on this Sunday evening, August 15th, I think. Yeah. How is it that it is already the middle of August? Summer is my favorite and I do not want it to be going this fast. Oh my gosh. Hi Kathy, hi Maria. Debbie's on here. I'm going to find my live on my iPad so I can see all of your comments. Now let me see if I turn it this way and swipe it like that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so good at this, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's taken long enough, right? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a fabulous week and a wonderful weekend. I have to tell you, like, I have been so busy, like busy with life. Um, my family has been demanding a lot of my time lately. I'm not going to lie. And I have been loving it. So um, this week we went uh, over to my mom's house. She lives about two hours away, right in the middle of Wisconsin. We call it our up north, but it's really straight west. And I went to my mom's house and it was our the week of our county fair. And there's just lots of memories that come back for me with the county fair because I was in 4-H and um, I showed horses. And so going back to the county fair is a lot of fun. And of course, like I love rides and I love carnival food. So we took the kids, my mom, my sister, Haley, Val, and my sister's kids, and we brought Molly. Um, and we took the kids to the fair and they rode all the rides and I got to ride a lot of them too. Um, we put little Miss Val on the baby swings that, you know, you sit in a swing and it goes around like this. She was not impressed. <laughs> Two rounds and we were saying stop the ride because she was like, meh. So, and I know she's only one, but when Haley was one, I started conditioning her to be my carnival ride partner. And um, when she was one years old, we went on the Tilt-A-Whirl and she loved it and she loved all the rides since then. So we're kind of, um, we love amusement parks and sometimes, you know, I don't know, we feel like we have to kind of groom the kids so they're not afraid of the rides or get motion sickness or any of that. So it's, it's just a weird thing with my family. Anyways, we had a blast at the fair. Corn dogs, Diana says, yes. And um, then when we were done riding the rides, we went to a booth that had all the carnival foods, almost. We ordered um, deep fried cheese curds. That's a big thing in Wisconsin and they are absolutely delicious. Hi, Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn says she needs some Kelly time. <laughs> I need some you time too, Mary Lynn. Um, we ordered the cheese curds, we ordered the funnel cake, we ordered some chicken sticks because we had to have something that wasn't junky in there, even though it's kind of junky. We ordered cotton candy. We ordered these tater tots in a bowl and then they put the nacho cheese on them and the sour cream and the bacon bits. Oh my gosh, they were so good. What else did we have? We had just like this whole menagerie of carnival food and we all sit down at a table and we all shared and it was just so much fun and then we went to the tractor pull now there's not a lot that's more redneck than a tractor pull and i say that in all love because i am a redneck i come from redneck out in the country small town usa and i absolutely love it so i don't mean any um anything mean by that. I love my rednecks. My redneck friends are the ones that I know have my back always. Um, they're just good people. And so, yeah, we went to the tractor pull. Haley had never been to one. And she, so she's asking me these questions like, so what is the point here? <laughs> it's so funny. So I had to explain how, you know, there's weights and they pull with the tractor and then the weights go up and it gets heavier and they measure how far they go. And it all sounds so silly, but that's small town USA and we love it. So we had a great time at the fair. We stayed there for a couple days. The other thing that I needed to do was clean out my summer home because when we um, ended our camping trip, it was pouring rain the day we had to pack up. So I really wanted to get back up there. We brought all the bedding home and washed it. So I wanted to get back up there and air the camper out because then, you know, it's closed up. 
so glad that I did because there was the carpet on the like kitchen area floor that was soaking wet. Oh my gosh. And the camper smelled like, I won't tell you what Steve said it smelled like. It's not appropriate for a family show, but you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> so I got the camper aired out and I scrubbed it. I even wiped off the little window sills and cleaned everything and oh, it was smelling so good. And that first night we stayed in the camper at my mom's house. Um, it was hot, so we turned on the air conditioning. In the middle of the night, everybody's waking up freezing. And I couldn't understand what was going on. But the next day when I was cleaning, I found there, I forgot there's a thermostat. Like, what a dumb move. There's a thermostat, and ours was set to 40 degrees. So, it's lucky we didn't get frostbite. <laughs> Anyways, we had a blast at the fair. We had a great time with my mom, Molly learned how to drive the four-wheeler and so she went round and round the road um or the uh, the yard and we'll only let the kids go to second gear because that way they can't go fast enough to like if they run into something they're not going to die um that's kind of important and um and they wear helmets and molly did a fantastic job and she said she just loved the four-wheeler so that was really fun molly and tommy each won two fish playing the throw the little ping pong into the little bowls. Oh my gosh, I don't know about Tommy's fish, but Molly's both died. <laughs> so, no more fish. Anna didn't want fish. Dad, Scott, said bring the fish home. So, the fish are gone already. So, that's kind of sad, but Molly was okay with it. <laughs> it was kind of funny because we knew they wouldn't live very long, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, so we went to the fair and then we came back here... That was on Wednesday, and on Friday night, we came back home, and it was late at night. I was working because I have a lot of stuff going on with my stamping right now, and I was working, and I realized that I have, like, a severe problem with planners. You guys remember I lost my planner? I never did find it, but I bought a new one, and I left it at my mom's house. So I messaged my mom late Friday night and my sister. I said, did I leave my planner in the kitchen? And nobody answered me because, of course, most normal people are in bed. And the next morning I woke up, there's a message from my mom. She posted it at 6.30 a.m., which you guys know I'm not awake at 6.30. And it says, yep, I'm on my way. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what, 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 what? My mother drove all the way over here two hours to bring me my planner and go home. Can you believe that? I said, Mom, you didn't have to do that. She's like, you do so much for us. I had to do that. And I'm like, you could have taken a couple of pictures and threw it, thrown it in the mail. Because all I needed was to see my August and maybe September. But anyways, um, my mom is so sweet. And she's like, I know you're super busy. I know you don't have time for company. I am going to just drop this off. And here you go. And she walked around and looked at my flowers while I was watering them. And she went home. <laughs> so then... I scrambled up here, I got work done, and then we had to go to a family wedding celebration. Steve's nephew got married um, earlier this year. And so yesterday they were having a celebration, like um, come and eat some food and, and you know congratulate them and, and a celebration of their wedding. So we did that all afternoon, a whole family, everybody's there, that was fantastic. And then that went from two to eight, at 7.30 we left because Stephanie's band played at 7.30 in a different town down south, kind of by Milwaukee, Fond du Lac area. And so we went and watched Stephanie's band. If For those of you that don't know, Stephanie's my stepdaughter and she is a lead singer in a band that is just phenomenal. I have posted um, little video clips on my page here if you want to go look back at them. So, um, <laughs> Jody says I need a planner alarm. I know, right? I know Haley's like, I can't believe you're dealing with more planner issues. I'm like, I know, just back off. <laughs> so anyways, we went and watched Stephanie's band and that was fantastic. Steve's mother, who is in her 80s, actually came to watch Stephanie for the first time. So that was super fun. And it was so funny because Steve's mom is an Elvis fan, like just all out Elvis fan. And Stephanie thought it was so funny that that day when she was deciding what she was going to wear to play in the band that night, she picked out her Elvis shirt, not realizing that grandma was going to come 
to her show. And so that was really cool because we've got a picture of grandma who's like about this tall compared to Stephanie who's pretty tall. And um, Steph's got her Elvis shirt on and of course it's just kind of cool. So that's like karma, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, um, so we did that. I got my planner. We went to the, oh, and then this morning I had to go to a funeral. So that was pretty sad. And I'm not going to get into that because nobody wants, this is an upper program, right? Not a downer program. So Anna and I went um, to pay our respects for a very good friend who lost a relative. And then all the kids came over with the kids for a cookout. We had like America Day here. We had cheeseburgers on the grill. We had grilled sweet corn. Um, Scott and Anna brought broccoli and cauliflower and tomatoes from their garden. Um, we had this new dip from Sam's Club. It's called fried pickle dip. That was really good. You eat it with like the big corn chips, the scoops. Oh, delicious. So we had a cookout and then everybody packed everything up and left and I came up and took a shower and here I am. So Whew, it's been a crazy the last few days, right? I've got a lot of cool stuff to share with you tonight. Um, first of all, I want to let you know that the turtle punches, if, if you're waiting for a turtle punch, I do have several people waiting for turtle punches. They are supposed to be in the warehouse tomorrow. So as soon as they come in, Stampin' Up! is going to ship them to me because I've already ordered them, right? I've got a bunch that are on back order. And as soon as they get here, I will get your turtle punches out in the mail to you. Some of you are waiting for kits to go with your punch. Those will be going out in the mail as soon as I get them. Um, next up, have you guys seen this? This is the amazing Blackberry Beauty 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it is finally in stock. I've had lots of people asking me, when is that paper gonna come in? When is that paper gonna come in? Because it wasn't available um, for pre-order for demonstrators or when the catalog went live, but it is now. And I just wanna show this to you. It is specialty paper. It's got gold embossed foil on it. Look at how gorgeous this is. So this paper is actually part of our catalog kickoff. You get, um, I think, a half a pack of it. Let me make sure. I don't want to lie to anybody. Um, catalog kickoff, da, 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 Blackberry, 12 by 12. You get a quarter pack of it, I think. And, um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Look at it. Isn't that so pretty with that gold in there? I actually have two cards. I am doing, If the catalog kickoff has three lives. One from me, one from Dina, one from Barb. My live is tomorrow morning. And all of the live classes are then posted in a Facebook group for people who joined the catalog kickoff. And um, they're, they're all posted in there so you can watch them whenever. So if you can't watch live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time, you can watch it when you're available. But these live classes are just so much fun. I think I showed you that one already. Okay, let me get, grab a different piece here. But I am I have two cards that I am making with this gorgeous bundle suite of products for that live. And they are part of the make and take. So we have a make and take packet available with the catalog kickoff. It's completely optional. By the way, the catalog kickoff started on August 3rd but it is still going and there's all kinds of content in a private Facebook group. If you have not joined it, there's a link right here on my page, a stamp above dash your creative coach that you can join. It's $10, but if you belong to the Stamp Happy Academy website, it is free. Or if you're on my team, it's free. So lots of fun stuff happening. There's card challenges, giveaways. I just gave away what did I just give away? I think Lois was the winner and I gave away a bundle. So a stamp set and um, the sweet stockings bundle. Oh my gosh, so adorable. So anyways, this paper called Blackberry Beauty is in stock now. You can order it. So just wanted to let you know that. Oh, let me get this put away too. I don't wanna lose any of this paper. So I have a live tomorrow morning. So as soon as I'm done, um, playing with you guys, I will be working on getting the rest of the cards ready for that. My live is going to be five or six different cards that I demonstrate. Three of them are going to be make and take. So there's nine make and takes in the make and take packet. 
The Make and Take Packet is, I believe, $54, and it includes $40 in product. So we're including like ribbon and paper and um, embellishments and all kinds of good stuff in there. So you get $40 with the product for $54 plus nine cards cut, ready to roll, in a make and take packet. It's so much fun. Oh, Lisa said she's hoping she can watch tomorrow. I'm hoping you can too, Lisa. Okay, so that's the catalog kickoff. Um, lots of giveaways in there too, so that's really fun. I talked to you about the make and take packet. Um, we also have an ordering special. If you add on some of the products that um, you can get with it, like the, the bundles we're gonna be using, an order over $75 will get you a free set of the Cute Stars self-adhesive embellishments for free. Okay, John update. So I forgot to do a John update last week, you guys. I saw where some people asked about it after I was done being live. I'm so sorry. But the truth of matter, the matter is, I don't have anything to report on John. He has been very boring lately. I just don't even know what to say. There is nothing going on in that house next door. Just like nothing. I hardly ever see him, but he's retired now. So there's not a lot of coming and going like he was before, right? He doesn't have a company truck that I can report on that might have a new dent in it or a scratch or is parked in our way. <laughs> so I got nothing for John. I said hi to him the other day and he said hi back and that's about it. So um, just wanted to fill you in on John. Then um, don't forget to share this video. John is boring. I know, right? Don't forget to share this video. That really helps me build my business, and I so appreciate it when you guys do that. There is a share button on your screen someplace. You can click on that and share this video. You never know who is a friend of yours on Facebook that might be interested in joining us, and I so appreciate your efforts there. Um, also, I have a, what do they call this? A fortune from a fortune cookie. I went to the Panda Express for lunch one day, and my fortune says, you are a fun, loving person and will find much happiness. And I was like, how does the Panda Express know me so well, right? <laughs> it's like they're magic. So anyways, I just wanted to share that. I love when I get little fortunes and it's like, yep and yep. Check, check. So lots of fun. I like to hang them in my office just because they're, they, they make me happy. <laughs> Thank you for the share, Luann. I really appreciate it. I see lots of other people sharing too. Um, Pam wants to know if John really exists. Yes, ma'am, he does. We have lived next door to John for 20, 21 or 22 years, and he does exist. Yep. <laughs> so he's a real person. Um, next. Oh, and by the way, Connie who is watching tonight, she came to help me with one of the retreats down from um, the UP, Michigan, Marquette. And she actually got to see John's house and his work truck. And at the time, I believe he had little ghosts hanging from his tree. <laughs> that was one of my reports. So yeah, John really is really real. Okay, I am going to give away some prizes. So if you leave a comment, <laughs> who just said that? It was that Lisa. Lisa said maybe he will get the spiders out this Halloween. Yes, he he does put spiders in his tree. Maybe it was spiders and not little ghosts. He hang, Yes, he hangs spiders, and one of the spiders fell out of the tree. That was my report one week. So really exciting stuff happening next door. You guys know this, right? <laughs> All right, we are going to give away some fun stuff. We have for commenting. Now, if you are new to me, please type something. Just say hello or where you're from or whatever so that you get entered in the drawing because commenting is a drawing for free prizes. <laughs> Connie said she did see all of that and John is real. So for commenting on my Facebook Live last week, I have these paper lattice. Now, there are 10 paper lattices in here, and these are fantastic to put on your card fronts or even use for scrapbooking pages. My winner for commenting last week is Kathy Larson of Marshfield, Wisconsin. These are gonna be on their way to you. So I'm super excited for Kathy, congratulations. 
Then the next way that you can win is by sharing this video. So all the people that share, I put you into a drawing and I give you fabulous prizes. Just one, the winner. And I have the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. This is five different colors of Baker's Twine that is just like the best little pack ever. For sharing last week, I have Debbie Foster of Bismarck, Arkansas. Debbie, these are going to be in the mail to you tomorrow. Yay, congratulations. Last but not least, when you place an order with me between my last Facebook Live and tonight, I do a drawing and I have a watercolor shapes stamp set to give away. We use this for my last bingo. So the winner of this is Kim O'Leary of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Kim. This will be in the mail for you tomorrow. So excited to send these prizes out. Now hang tight. I do not want them to get lost. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade as usual. I just wanna see what time it is and it doesn't even tell me, so that's great. <laughs> I have no way to know. Um, last thing I want to talk to you about before we start stamping. I have some really cool... I did pull it together today in between getting ready for stamping, then going to the funeral, then coming back, getting ready for stamping, then going out by the pool. <laughs> it's been nuts, you guys. Um, I did pull together some really cute cards to share with you tonight. Um, fun fold. You're going to love it. Both of them, I think, are fun folds. You're going to... Or all of them. There's more than two. Um, you're going to love it. But um, what was the thing that I was going to share with you? Don't forget, right now is celebration. So we have a little brochure. If you need hard copies of this brochure and the holiday mini catalog or the big catalog, let me know. Okay? Yay, I see Elaine is on here. Elaine knows Kim. Woohoo, right, Elaine? <laughs> um, celebration is going on until the end of the month. And when you join my team, whether you want to build a business or be a discount shopper and get a discount on all your orders, you can get a free bundle. This is like a $60 value. And all the bundles are listed on page 19 of the brochure. Okay. And um, it only costs $99. You get to choose all the products you want for $125 and only pay $99 for them. So you're getting all this product. This kit right now with the free bundle is worth over $200 for $99 and free shipping. And then you get a paper pumpkin kit. You get $125 in the product that you want. You get to choose your bundle. There are so many benefits and you get me. There's a whole other world that is happening behind what I do right here for you tonight that is part of my team and it is absolutely fantastic so if you're interested in getting a discount and you want to be part of something bigger it doesn't hurt to give it a try there's no hard feelings if it doesn't work out for you and you don't want to continue being a discount shopper or build a business you just stop and you can still continue to be my customer and watch me here and place your orders through me instead of through yourself getting a discount so join my team it is a fantastic place to be Lots and lots of friends. Okay, um, don't let me forget to show my mail because I have some beautiful, beautiful mail to share with you tonight. And I see I have a lot of team members on here tonight. I see your comments coming through, you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I did my giveaways and I will share my mail with you. Oh, bingo. Bingo registration is open for August. It ends on Wednesday at noon. So if you would like to play bingo with me on August 25th, and I think, oh, I forgot to look and see what time it starts. If it's six or seven, let me see if I wrote it in my planner. Nope, I did not. <laughs> Anyways, it starts at six or seven o'clock. I think it's six o'clock, I don't know. But anyways, it's on the 25th in the evening central time and um we are going to have a whole bunch of fun i've got all the information listed on my blog www.astampabove.com and 
you can register for bingo you can add on the bundles that we're going to be using plus when you register for bingo you get a pre-cut cardstock pack for five cards that i'm going to make with you in a live class on wednesday night the only thing you need to do is have a youtube channel or a youtube account not a channel a youtube account and it's just like you have a facebook account you have a youtube account you know you might have an amazon account it's just that simple you just go make yourself an account if you don't have one so that you can comment so if you win bingo you can say bingo and then you win and i give away fabulous prizes so i see everybody coming in here i love being on kelly's team thank you guys so much i really appreciate it i love having you on my team okay well i see that we have 505 people watching us live right now i better start stamping kelly perpich how are you i am happy to see you here Okay, um, let me get my cords all taken care of. I am going to, oh, we have a fall retreat coming. And also on the 18th, which is Wednesday, the save $10 by registering as an early bird is up. So um, you have until Wednesday to register for the fall retreat. Um, otherwise, it's going to be full price. That is a hundred and, hang on. A hundred and forty nine dollars I believe it's here someplace oh my good lord I have so yep here we go <gasps> stamp of palooza hundred and forty nine dollars and I believe that's the early bird price it's in the form you guys you guys know I have a terrible memory um, yeah hundred and forty nine next on Wednesday it goes up to hundred and fifty nine so we're giving a ten dollar discount for early bird registration if you have any questions about any of that, please let me know. If you have signed up for Bingo and you haven't received an invoice yet, or if you have ordered the catalog kickoff make and take packet and you have not received an invoice yet, don't worry. Um, I am a little behind on emails, which seems to be kind of standard for me. But I had, like I said, my family is sucking the life out of me in a good way because I love it. But I've been doing a lot of family things over the last week or so, so I'm running a little behind on emails. But don't worry, I will get you invoiced. You're not going to miss any deadlines for that. So I just want everybody to be like, don't worry. I got your back, people. <laughs> okay, so I have a very pretty little fun set of cards that I'm going to share with you. We are going to be using the Peaceful Prints. This is a free pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper. You get two of each of these designed. They're double sided. So this is on one side, this is on the other. This is on one side, this is on the other. You get two of each 12 by 12 sheets of this with your order during celebration. So when your order hits $50 before tax and shipping, you get to choose an item out of this brochure at the $50 level. Now. There's also $100 items in here, but we're talking about 50 right now. This paper is one of them. You can get as many packs of this as you want to place $50 orders for. So I highly recommend it because it is gorgeous. I'm going to get out all my bits and pieces here. And let's see, I hope I don't forget to talk about that too. I've got the Deer Punch. Have you guys seen this? It is so cute. And also the Peaceful Deer stamp set, which goes along with the punch, but there's a whole bunch of other things in here. There are 20 different stamps and you've got all these evergreen trees, some horns for the deer. You've got bunny rabbits. Um, there's a little like neck wreath and I'll show you what that is as well as some snowflakes and then the deer. The deer you can color in or the deer you can stamp solid. Absolutely fantastic. All right, the other thing we're going to be using on this card is the Bedazzling Specialty Designer Series paper. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. This paper does not shed glitter any place. Look at it. Oh my gosh, right? It is so bedazzling. I love it. It just adds a perfect amount of bling to your project. So there are eight, yep, I'm right, eight sheets of six by six in here. Again, part of celebration. You get free with a $50 order. And this is unlike any other glitter paper that we have. It's just really unique. So we're going to be playing with that. Um, I've also got the wonderful gems here. We might use these because I haven't, well, uh, we might use these. We'll see. 
And then I'm going to be using the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. And this is gonna be fantastic for Valentine's Day and the Christmas holidays. Okay, I got everything unloaded here. I think it is time. Now, hang on, you're gonna wiggle a little bit, okay, while I kind of move some stuff around here. I've got kind of a little bit of a chaos happening on my desk. I know, shocking, right? Okay, hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will tell you when it is safe to open them. I am going to flip you around, put you in the holder without disconnecting you. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, so my internet has been a little sketchy lately. I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but being so busy with my family, I've not had time to call my internet company and you know, kind of harass them a little bit. But I do need to get somebody out here to fix some other issues I'm having with my cable TV. So if you can open your eyes, by the way, if we get cut off, just know that right here on this page, I will pop right back in. You're going to have to refresh your screen. And how you do that, if you're watching on a phone, you take your finger and you go like that. You pull it down, it'll come down and bounce back up and refresh. And you'll see a new live video happening. Um, this right here is my blog address. So you, if you ever want to contact me or if I talk about stuff, you're always going to find it on my blog. All the dimensions for these cards, still photos, even all the ingredients in a shopping list. I'll tell you what color inks I used. Um, you can click on it and go right to my Stampin' Up! store. This is my current host code. Stampin' Up! just changed some things about the host code. It used to be if you forgot to use the code when your order's under $150, I could contact Stampin' Up! and they would add your order to the code because I have special drawings for that also when you use this code. And now they have restricted us to only be able to use so many of those switchovers in a month. So it's really important that you use this code if your order is under $150. This code can always be found in the right-hand column of my blog and at the end of every blog post, so you're scrolling down, you'll see my signature, boom, you'll see the host code. Okay, just wanna make sure everybody knows that. Oh, the other thing is too, there's something changing about the way Stampin' Up! verifies credit cards. So if you happen to go in and update your credit card in your online Stampin' Up! store account, in, you know, in my store, your account, if you go in there and update or use a different credit card, or maybe you're new and you're just signing up, Stampin' Up! is going to um, verify your card. So you're probably going to see a penny charge on your credit card, but they'll give it back to you. I think that's the way it's going to work. I just don't want anybody think that thinking that they're getting hacked because that is certainly not what's happening if you see a couple cents being charged to your card. Okay, let's stamp. Enough blah, 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 right? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, I've got my dimensions here to share with you. Now, this first card that I'm sharing with you is a super easy card. But I wanted to show you how you can make a whole bunch of these really easily. Oh, and I see I forgot. Oh, no, I didn't forget anything. So, what I've got here is a half a sheet of thick white cardstock. And it is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter and folded it and burnished that edge good. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And we are going to take three and a quarter inches off of the front, just like that. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be left with. I'm gonna take this piece and I am going to cut it at four by three. And we're gonna use this, which was this side, you know, this part of the card for a layer on the front of our card. Now, I have, this is going to be our stamping piece. You're also going to need a scrap of basic white. So let's see, I'm gonna stamp this up first. I've got some of the stamps mounted from this Peaceful Deer stamp set. This stamp set is just so beautiful. It is photopolymer. I've been using it quite a bit, but I love the deer in here. I love the horns. I also love these trees. They are so beautiful. And I'll show you a card made with those in just a few minutes. 
So I've got soft suede and real red ink here. And I am going to take, this is the three by four panel for the front of my card. I'm gonna take my real red and I'm gonna stamp the little sentiment that says, let's celebrate. Jean, don't worry. Jean says she's worried she's late. Don't worry, you're getting here, you're, gonna, you're not missing a thing. You just missed all my chit chat. <laughs> you can go back and listen to that if you want to. So we've got our let's celebrate here. Then we're going, oh, guess what? I need the little snowflake image right here. And I forgot that I needed that. So I'm gonna mount that. And we're gonna use soft suede, which is a little different, but you're gonna like it. I know you are. You're gonna love this. So we're gonna go right over here and then we're gonna stamp again. So we're inking once and then we're stamping again, just like that. So you get a two-tone on here. Okay, next we're gonna take that scrap of basic white and I've got this cute little deer and we're gonna see what it says here in a second when I stamp it. Now I'm gonna look at the back of my punch and see where do I need to put this deer? I'm gonna put this deer right over here right side up and it says oh what fun isn't that pretty I love that scripty right there so the deer punch has the deer and also the horns which I got yelled at last week by somebody that said if you're a hunter you should know they're not called horns they're called antlers so as a matter of fact I am a hunter and I do know that they're called antlers but I also call deer deers moose mooses antelope antelopes and I call antlers horns and it's just the way that I do it <laughs> just so you know I do know they're called antlers but I like to call them horns so and when you do your video you can call them whatever you'd like <laughs> and there we have our little deer look at how cute it is isn't it just the sweetest yeah okay we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back and I'm gonna bring in my mini dimensionals here. And we're gonna pop this little deer up. Whoops, I got two there. I didn't mean to do that. And let me get my take your pick tool here. Boom. Now we're gonna come right over here. Oh, I think I want some more snowflakes. So we can do this. I'm gonna stamp off once because I just want some lighter ones here. Let's see. Does that look? Yep, that looks great. So I'm going to do the oh, what fun. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my red sheer ribbon. Now, this is in the, I think this is in the mini catalog also. And I want to use or leave enough ribbon out here so I can tie a nice little bow. Oops. Sometimes this is the hardest part of a card, right? Is tying the bow. Here we go. Just gotta make sure that you leave long enough tails so you can get a decent, let's see, do I wanna switch it that way? We'll see when we're done here what happens. Nope, <laughs> I didn't catch enough of it. There we go. Now, after you make a few of these, they get easier. Even with as many bows as I've made, if I were to make four or five of these cards, the bows will get a lot easier. So just know that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull this a little bit smaller. I like to hold on to my loops when I pull my tails because that way it doesn't make the whole thing loosen up and be all weird, you know what I mean? And the other thing is, is because we've got this on the back, if you find that your bow is not tight or your ribbon wrapped around here is like too sloppy on the front, you can grab a piece of tape and just kind of make it tighter. Like I just pulled it and now it's tighter. So you can definitely do that. Uh, let me find, here's my scissors. Okay, here we go. Boom. Pretty, pretty. Now we're going to put this on a piece of four and a quarter by three and a quarter real red. We're just gonna layer this. And I just love that, those um, little snowflakes, little dots. They're not really snowflakes in this respect. They're more like magical sprinkles. 
<laughs> kind of, don't you think? Magical sprinkles. Okay, so we're ready with that. Now the other thing we've got here is a piece of this designer series paper. And again, this is the Peaceful Prints. It's free with a $50 order and it's got birch trees on the back and these beautiful stripes on the front. We are going to take a one inch by five and a half. This is four by five and a half. This is one by five and a half. We're gonna take this bedazzling one inch strip and we're gonna put it right on the very edge of our designer series paper. Now this is a really cool way to make this card because before I do anything else, we're gonna stamp the inside, right? Because that is my golden rule. Don't ever glue the things together because if I mess this up, I can just grab another piece versus at the very end, I've got my card all put together and glued together and then I mess it up and then I'm really mad. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Mm -hmm. So I've mounted my Merry Christmas and my sentiment on one block. I'm gonna stamp it here and make sure that it looks good to me. And I think my Merry Christmas needs to move over a little bit. Whoops. Or you could stamp it right on your shirt. <laughs> it fell in my lap, but it almost stamped on my shirt. This is our chamois, by the way. This is how I clean the stamps. I love these things because it's just super simple. Now, I think my Merry Christmas needs to move over a little bit. So I'm gonna peel that off of here and I'm going to bring it in and move it over. It looks straight. And now we're gonna try that again. I like that, that looks nice. Okay, here comes my sentiment for the inside of my card. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. It says, wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear. Get it, dear. Merry Christmas. Oh, look it. I just stuck my finger in the ink and got it on my card. Mm. Hang on. It happens. Don't panic. I am just going to keep rolling here. That's not going to make that big of a difference. And I can write over that. I can, like, write my name over it so it won't even look like a smudge. <laughs> How's that sound? It's a pretty good idea, right? Oh, I think I need an envelope, too. As long as we're stamping, I'm gonna pull out an envelope. Now these are our Whisper or Basic White medium sized envelopes. You get 40 of them in a pack and they are so nice to stamp on. Just really, really good quality. I'm gonna put this deer right here on the front. Look at how cute that is. I think that that's gonna look really pretty coming in the mail. Okay, now I'm done with the ink. Let's get this closed up so we don't drop our card in it. Who's done that a million times? Yeah, let me wipe my fingers off again just in case. Okay, now, watch how super simple this comes together. Oh, I'm gonna grab, a little bit of seal. So, you could try glue on this glitter paper, but I just find that a tape runner, like this is Seal Plus, is gonna work better to stick to this because this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a line of adhesive right here. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it inside our card, stack it so that it's nice up to the edges, okay? Close it. This is our card front, and look at how easy and spectacular that is. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Okay, then we're gonna take this layer, and we're gonna add, ooh, look, a brand new sheet of dimensionals. Oh, it's the little things in life that make me so happy. <laughs> it's like opening up a new Versamark ink pad, mm, right? Almost, almost that good, okay. Use my take your pick tool to pick this off of here. And here we go. We're gonna add this right to the middle. So I'm just looking to center this layer right in the middle of my card front. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that just charming? I think this is so cute. Here's our matching envelope, okay. Super, super cute. Inside looks good. Look at, you see both sides of the designer paper. So we're, we're dealing with deer, here's some birch trees. And again, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna write my name over that so you won't even see it. But look at how cool that is. Yeah? Okay. Now, I have some more cards to share with you um, with this particular stamp set. Where did they go? Right here. Okay. Here it comes. Ouch. So, for my team this week, I demonstrated how to make these cards and I gave them that an entire little class they can use if they have people over to stamp with them, if they're running a business or just for their personal use. So here's one card. Here's the next one. Again, using the same Peaceful Prints designer series paper. Here's another one. Exact same layout. We've got that strip of the bedazzling in there. You can see both sides of the designer paper. I haven't stamped on the inside yet. Here's another one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So all three of these used a white thick card base. And then the next three cards use a black card base. So we took, we cut that black card base off right here. And then that's where we use this piece to layer under here. So this is a really great way to conserve on paper, but isn't that pretty? And then we've got this pretty plaid in here. Here comes a green one, and here are those Christmas trees, you guys, that are part of the Peaceful Deer stamp set, which I lost. Here it is, Peaceful Deer stamp set. Here are those trees. Look at how pretty that is. Now this card, the tree was stamped full strength in garden green and then stamped again without re-inking, and we did the same things with the little ones. Here's that brand new black gingham ribbon. If you haven't gotten some of this, you need to. It is, it just makes everything pop. It's very popular. And then here is the last one. And remember I was talking to you about this little image right here. I stamped that on red and then put it around the reindeer or the deer's neck. And then I also stamped his horns, <laughs> antlers, directly on the white layer. So very, very cool. And again, this is the type of stuff that I share with my team, an entire set of cards that they can use for personal use or if they're running a business, they can use this for an entire class. I give them all the dimensions, all the directions, all the goodies to be successful in making cards or running a business. Yes, lots of fun. So let me set this aside. Now we are going to make some more cards. I have a really cool fun fold for you. Take a drink, relax. We're gonna switch over. Oh, you know what I wanted to do here? I told you about these wonderful gems. I thought these would look beautiful on here. So let's see. Do we wanna use the red ones? Do we wanna use the gold ones? That is a good question. So let's see what looks best. Let me take one of these gold ones. And do a little gold one. I didn't push it down really hard. The red ones have little gold flecks in them too. We can use the red ones. And I think, uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with the red. So did you see how I set that on there but didn't push it down so that I could pull it off and do something different? I was just kind of testing it out. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, a little bit more bling bling. Love it. Okay. Now we can put these away. All right, peaceful patterns. Here's my ink pads. Here's all this. Oh, you know what? One other thing I forgot to talk to you about. Hang tight. We've got some more pretty things to share. I love pretty, do you love pretty things? I love pretty things. Let me put my seal away. This is going to be my August kit class. Pretty pumpkins and look at these fabulous intricate pumpkin dyes and leaves. I'm going to be using this bundle along with the Harvest Meadow designer series paper, the diamond weave ribbon. <gasps> Look at the cork paper. This is actually paper and it looks like cork. It is crazy cool. As well as the brushed metallic adhesive back dots and linen thread. So 
Um, oh, where did my planner go? Right here. Don't worry. I did not lose it again. I just don't want to tell you the wrong thing here. So, you are going to get a half a pack of the Harvest Moon Designer Series paper. This is gorgeous colors for fall. You're going to get a half a pack of the cork paper. You're going to get a full pack of the brushed metallic adhesive back dots, a half a roll of this ribbon, a full roll of linen thread, and you can add on the stamp set and dies if you don't have them. Otherwise, if you have them, you're just gonna get the kit. The kit has four different card designs in it, complete with written instructions, dimensions if you wanna make more, um, video tutorials for each one of the cards, and you get to make two of each card for a total of eight. That all comes in the kit. The only thing you need is this bundle. Watch for that to be posted on my blog later this week, as soon as I get my life caught up. <laughs> it should have been posted already, but gosh darn it, we talked about that, right? It's been a crazy family week this week, so... My family, like I said, is sucking my life away, which I love. It's not in a bad way. Okay, next up. We have another fun fold. I've got one, two, three different cards to share with you. Oops, that goes with that. I've got my envelopes here, so we're going to decorate those. And let's see. We are going to be using this beautiful paper. Now, I cut this down to six by six. This is called something penned, beautifully penned, I believe. It is, oh, here's that gorgeous, mm, bedazzling paper. Um, we've also, before I forget, we've also got the penguin paper. And I have that here, some, oh, here it is. This is also free with a $50 order. And this would be beautiful. Um, using it the same way I did here. Like you could definitely use this paper to do the same thing. So then let's see, here's the gorgeous, beautifully penned. I was right. That's what it's called. Beautifully penned. This is all black and white paper and it is so, so gorgeous. You get 12 sheets, three different designs. They're all double-sided. Look at how pretty, pretty, pretty. So I decided to use this paper for, and this is 12 by 12. It's 12 by 12. This I cut down to six by six for some other things I was doing. But um, this paper is gorgeous. You can do so many things with black and white paper. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you, these are the Summer Shadow Dyes. These are free with a $100 order and they coordinate with the Shaded Summer beautiful stamps that you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentiment stamps and some images. Now this is listed right here, okay? There are 11 dies in this set. You get it free with your $100 purchase. So that's what we're gonna be using for this project. And then, oh my gosh, there's just so many pretty elements to this. I wanted to share with you some of the things. Now, I, if I cut something out and I don't use it, I just put it back in my envelope and I may use it with a different project. But look at how pretty this is for layering. You've got the flower underneath and then I did black on the top. There's a little leaf here. There's a big outline leaf and then a solid leaf we're gonna be using on our card. There's a little like, I don't know, a little pansy flower type thing that I just love. And then it's got these images and there's outlines to cut all three of these out. We've got this little spriggy deal and some flowers and some more flowers along with all of these floral dyes. So pretty cool. This is a really nice set. You get it free with your $100 order. Okay, so what I do is I like to just set those, whoops, hang on, I just dropped my leaves. I like to put those in the front of my case. I may use them on another project. So I just keep them in there if I don't use them on what I'm making right now. Anyways, so here we go. We are going to bring out our ink. 
I've got my stamps mounted. I am going to be using this gorgeous black glitter ribbon. Love it. I've also got some basic rhinestones here. And we are ready to rock. Okay, let's bring in, which one do I, okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Hang on, let me put this with my other card so I don't lose it. I will be typing up my blog post um, when I'm done with all the dimensions and stuff. You're going to be able to find all of these on my blog. Maybe not till tomorrow, but they'll be there. Okay, let me think what I'm doing. <laughs> let Kelly think. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So I've got some Coastal Cabana here. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold and burnish that score line. And we are going to, where'd my paper trimmer go? Hang on. I just stacked everything on top of everything over here. So we are going to take this piece and we're going to cut it at eight inches. So we're going to pull this back to eight inches right here and I'm going to cut this off. Okay, as long as we're still here with the paper trimmer, you're going to want to take this piece that you cut off of here. So we're doing some more like cardstock saving tips, right? And you're going to cut this at three by three. Three by three. Okay, that's exactly what's left here. Three by three. Mm. Okay. Next, we're going to bring in this designer series paper. I need a one inch by four inch strip. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to cut one inch off by four inches. Okay, so we've got this. Then I am going to use, I need a three by three and a two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So I know that the three by three is bigger than the two and five eighths, right? And if anybody has trouble with measurements, you can fast forward the video back to here and look at this. Okay, so this is five eighths. And I got this by doing a Google for ruler. And you'll see this, you can print it out. I keep it taped right over here on my wall to share with you. I don't have any, I mean, I, I know all my measurements, but I didn't, I wasn't born that way, right? <laughs> okay, so three by three. And then What's left is a three by three. I need this to be two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So we're just gonna trim that off. Two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So now we've got this much left over from a six by six piece. So you can make a ton of these cards with this layout. Okay, let's see what we got now. We've got, <clears throat> This piece, okay, four and a quarter by 11, and we cut it off at eight inches. Then we use this, we cut this down to three by three, which was part of this. Here's our designer series paper layers, and then we've got a three by three basic white and a two and three quarters by two and three quarters. The smaller one goes on the inside of our card. So we're going to take the larger, the three by three designer paper and the three by three um, Coastal Cabana, and we're gonna glue these together. And these should match up perfectly. Okay. We're gonna take our paper cutter and we're gonna cut this at an angle or directly in half from point to point. So I've got <clears throat> my points in the channel. This is going to be two pieces enough to make two cards. We only need one of them. So I'm just gonna set that other one aside. 
canal. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping and then we'll assemble. Hang on, let me get this out here. Okay. So this is our smaller piece and I am going to take the sentiment. Again, this is from the Shaded Summer stamp set. This is in the annual catalog and it has the matching dies that are part of our celebration promotion called Summer Shadow Dies, free with a $100 order. So now I'm gonna take this sentiment. It says, above and beyond, you go there a lot. And guess who this is for? <gasps> my mother, because she brought me my planner. She drove four hours to drop off a planner. Who does that? Only moms would do that, right? <laughs> So we're gonna stamp that on this two and three quarters by two and three quarters and look at the font. Like, oh, I love the font. I'm a big font person, you know that. Then I'm gonna bring in the thank you. I'm gonna stamp that right here. And I just kind of messed it up, so let's try it again. I didn't stamp it all the way. And this is why we don't glue anything together till we're done stamping, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, there, it worked perfect. And then, hang on, where'd my lid go? Oh, here it is. Is it time for a drink yet? Yes, it is. Take a drink, everybody. Mm. I told you guys all what I had for supper today. What did you guys eat? Like, what did you have for supper? I had burgers and corn and chips and dip. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, flower. I'm gonna bring in one of these floral images and I'm gonna stamp it off and I'm gonna bring it and stamp it right in here. So look at just how very, I just think that's very classy, very charming. I love that. Okay, so we'll set that aside. As long as we've got our Coastal Cabana ink out here, I'm going to bring in my envelope and I'm going to stamp my flower right there so I have a beautiful envelope to go with my beautiful soon-to-be card. Okay. Now we're ready to assemble. So we're gonna take this one inch strip. Let me get rid of this. One inch strip. And I'm going to add this right over here. Now I'm leaving the same margin on the left and the top and the bottom, okay? And then we're going to take the larger three by three square and we're gonna add the smaller DSP square. Just like this. And that white's just gonna really pop under the DSP perfectly, okay? This is gonna go on the front here someplace. This piece, we're going to take some dimensionals and it's very important where you place them. So we're gonna place them here, here, and here, not on this side, okay? We're gonna just set that aside for a moment. We're gonna bring this layer in and we're going to center it on our card. Don't worry about this strip over here, just center this on your card. So we only want our glue to be right over here, right? we want our card to be able to open. So only put the glue up until this um, cut line so you don't glue your card together. We want to be able to open it like this. All right, I'm doing it this way because now we can take this piece. We're going to put glue on the back where I messed it up. <laughs> steak, who had steak? Lots of steak tonight, you guys. That's awesome. And I am just going to layer this on the back of this piece, okay, and close my cart. See what I did there? I wanna just make sure this is straight. You might, you might have to adjust it a little bit. Look at that. So this is the inside of our card. That still looks a little crooked. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna take these off. Do... Do you like the way I do that with my take your pick tool? Genius. I learned that. Gosh, somebody's got their 
music so loud out there in their car. It's crazy. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to place it on the very corner of your card. Right up to the edge. Okay, so it's going to go on here just like this. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, just hang on. I'll show you all the fun things. All right, so I've got basic black Coastal Cabana Granny Apple Green. And I'm looking for my dies here. So I'm going to do this big flower on here. I'm going to do the outline for the big flower on here. I am going to do the outline for the leaves on here. And there's a big solid leaf one. We're gonna put that on the granny apple green and we're gonna run all of these through our die cutting machine. And of course, when we do that, it's gonna look like this. So we've got this and this and this and this. And aren't those colors just really striking? I was like, ooh, these are so pretty. Okay, um, where did my, here's my silicone mat. I'm gonna bring this in to glue these elements together. This is our silicone craft sheet. And I just spread some glue out here. And I'm going to take these intricate pieces I've got a sponge dauber and I'm going to add some glue. And now I'm going to glue it, get my hair out of there. <laughs> Seems like every week I've got hair someplace, right? This is kind of gross. Like why Kelly, why? Okay, so here's my leaves. Here comes my flower. Now I want to look at this and see which way does it go before I do anything with the glue. And I can see that it's got this little bump. It's got this little bump right here. And then it's also got that little bump right here. So I know that this layers on just like that. So I'm going to turn it over and grab me some glue. and find that little bump and glue these two pieces together. There we go. Oops. Okay, look at that. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? And remember, these dies are free. Now, when this dries, you can rub it off with your finger. You can go rinse it in the sink. You can do whatever you want. But I like, I like doing that with the intricate dies if I'm not too lazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we're gonna bring this in here. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back. This is called, by the way, a corner tuck card. I think I forgot to say that. I'm gonna put a dimensional right there. And then I'm gonna bring in my baby dimensionals. And I'm gonna put one way up here on this leaf. I don't want one out here, because this is gonna stick over the edge a little bit, and I don't want that to stick my card together so it can't be opened, right? Okay. Here we go. Boom. Oh, look what I just did. <laughs> Be careful. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Okay, here comes our flower. <laughs> I'm going to put this pretty much right in the middle of my layer. And now I'm going to come in with my two leaves. And I'm going to pop those right in here. <laughs> now this leaf that got torn off because I am a Brutus. I'm just going to tuck that right in there and nobody will ever know that it got torn off. Look at you can't even tell. <laughs> okay. Now we've got the rhinestones. I'm going to grab a rhinestone and put it right in the middle here. And where did my ribbon go? Oh, here it is. Thank goodness it's not a snake. I would have been bitten. All right. And we're talking about snakes today. You know, I um, lived in Missouri until I was like you know, 11 or 12 years old. And we moved back to Wisconsin because my dad hates snakes. And they have lots of poisonous ones down there. So we just had a whole conversation about snakes today. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. It's just kind of one of those squirrel moments where my mind just went there because I said, thank goodness this wasn't a snake. It would have bit me. So then we had a whole conversation about snakes. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Whatever, right? Okay, here we go with that beautiful, beautiful glitter ribbon. Okay, you guys. 
What do you think? This tucks right in here. Isn't that cool? This is a corner tuck card. Opens up just like that. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? We're in Missouri, just south of Kansas City. We were in Belton, Missouri, just south of Kansas City. Okay. Now, I've got some more to show you. I've actually got two more cards. This one is another corner tuck card. So we're going to pull out our Fresh Freesia ink. And we're gonna use, how about this bigger floral stamp that comes in the Shaded Summer. I'm gonna do this on my envelope. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And, oh, here comes all my layers. So I've already cut this and done some of the preliminary work so that you didn't have to sit here and watch me do all the same thing again. But we're gonna do a little different pattern. Okay. Here's my three by three and my three by three. Um, do I want to do this? Nope. I want to do the other. Yep. We're going to put the glue on this side. You could do either side. Again, this is just the beautiful, beautifully penned designer series paper. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and cut this at an angle. I'll have two pieces. That is enough for two different cards. Oops, I just moved that. Did you see that? There we go. Okay, I'm going to set this one over with this one. I'll use that on something else. We're going to put our dimensionals on the back, just like we did the other one. I love using this black and white designer series paper with pops of color because I just think it's so pretty. And then... I've got this piece. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this side instead of this side. So we're gonna, we're gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna put the glue on this side and we're gonna glue this onto, is this the right white layer? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, yep, oh, mm, yeah, mm, mm. I think I'm missing one. Um, yeah, this is the right one. Oh, I don't think it is actually. Hmm, I think this is the one for the inside. Hang tight. Let me grab a little scrap. We've got lots of cardstock here. <laughs> so I'll just cut another piece. I think this one goes on the inside. I think this is a two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Yep, that goes on the inside. So the front is going to be three by three. Three. Bye, three. Okay. Here we go. Whew. I'm glad I didn't mess this all up. We caught it. It's always a bonus, right? Okay. So here we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? All right. Now we're going to take this piece and again, we're going to glue it just the glue on this side and we're going to put it right in the middle of our card. Just like that. I am going to take this layer and put my sentiment on it and I just know that of my friends and family I'm going to need another one of these above and beyond you go there a lot because I, I tend to surround myself with some very very wonderful people that I love very much and that are always outdoing themselves. So I know that I will need another card that says this. I'm going to take this stamp in the Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna stamp it off once and come down in here. And I like that because it just gives you that little bit of color, but it doesn't take over the whole layer, right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to Add some glue to the back here. And put it right in here. So I don't wanna see it when the card is closed. I don't want that other white layer sticking out. So then I kinda of come in here and say, mm, do I have this straight? You can wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's straight, but it's gonna be in, in the right area. And we're gonna do this. 
and this and this and now we're gonna oh we can close our card and put this right on the front oh my gosh I do love it and then I've already cut out these flowers so we're gonna glue them together now, if you use the silicone sheet like this, you wanna make sure that you don't lay your pieces down where you've already got glue on here. So I'm putting them in a new place that doesn't have any glue on it. Because you don't wanna get glue on the front of them. And here's the little dot, here's the little dot. Put these two together, just like that. Mm, isn't that pretty? Yeah. And then I've got green apple green. So this is fresh freesia, by the way. I, I don't think I said that. I'm, I apologize for that. But it is fresh freesia, one of our new in colors. I absolutely love it. It's just so pretty. And then we'll take this overlay and add this right on here and see if we cannot rip our leaf off. <laughs> I'm trying to be more careful. <laughs> Such a Brutus. Okay, dimensionals. Yay. And some baby dimensionals. I'm gonna put that one down at the base and then the rest of these in the center because they don't really matter that much. What my glue thing? Ooh, I'm starting to sweat. Where's my cooling mist that Wendy sent me? <laughs> don't worry, Wendy, it is nearby. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're gonna put this beautiful flower right here. We're gonna bring this in and add it right here. And I like that it pops over the edge here. Okay, that just adds a lot of neat interest. Tuck, corner tuck card. And I need a rhinestone. Where are those? Yay, rhinestones. Here they come. my ribbon. Oh, look at I'm out of ribbon. Dang it, I need to put that on my order. Okay, so this one won't have the ribbon. Sorry, I don't have enough. Do I have any more of that? Nope, I gotta order some. Okay, so this one won't have that black ribbon, but you can just like use your imagination. So we've got this one. Oops. Isn't this pretty? Yeah absolutely gorgeous with all this black and white paper. We've got this one and then I've got another one to share with you and it's really pretty too. Hang on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh wait let me put it back together. Oh, this is Mango Melody. I love this color. That bright pop. Crazy right? And a different pattern of this black and white paper. So we've got this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern with our little corner tuck card. And then there was only one thing I had left to do and that is to make my matching envelope so that these are ready to go in the mail. And that one's got color on, oh, I think all of these do. I'll use this one. Oops, clean that off. Perfect. Voila, there we go. So we've got this. And this. And which one is your favorite? Do you have the white glitter ribbon? I do have the white glitter ribbon. That is a fantastic idea. Hang on. That will certainly work, right? Well, it doesn't pop as much as the black does, but you could use the white ribbon. I do like the black better. I'm just gonna order, I'm gonna order some black, but you guys, we have this white glitter ribbon too. This is in the holiday mini catalog. It's so pretty. That's what was used on, where did those, where did those, here they are. That's what was used. Hang on, I got dyes falling all over the place. On some of these cards right here. This is the white glitter ribbon on some of the deer cards. So I used the red 
here. Where did my envelope go? Here it is. Okay, so, and then I wanted to share with you where I got my inspiration for this corner tuck. So one of the cool things about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is swapping with other demonstrators. I have tons and tons of swap cards that I participate in. I just cleaned off my desk today, you guys. These are all swap cards that I have gotten using new um, holiday mini catalog and celebration stamp sets. This was one of the swap cards that I got, and this is a corner tuck fold card. This uses that polar bear set and soft succulent and this beautiful paper. It is so, so pretty. This was a swap that I received. And so I grabbed that this morning and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this card. I need to make some of these. And so then I designed these and they're all, what do you guys think? They're all really pretty, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, who just said color the ribbon? Karen just said color the white ribbon with the black marker. Let's try that. That's a really, I don't know why sometimes I just don't, sometimes my brain isn't functioning properly. Hang on. I've got dark black stamp and blend. I'm gonna just show this to you. We're gonna see if it works. Sometimes you can color the ribbon, sometimes not so much. Oh, look at that. And it's still sparkly. Oh my gosh. Genius. Now the black glitter ribbon has um, silver glitter flecks on it. Now these are kind of iridescent because that's what color they are on the white, right? But you could certainly do that. What a great idea, Karen. Thank you so much. That was just like, duh, Kelly. Come on. I'm always doing stuff like that. And then when I need to, I can't remember to do it. Anywho, there are some fun cards tonight. I challenge you to try some of these corner tuck cards. I would love to see what you make. They are so very easy. And then all of these dear cards, all the exact same layout. This was, again, part of my team meeting. And I have this entire class available for my team. And if you would like to get a discount on your products, I would love to have you on my team. You can try it out. There are no strings attached to becoming a discount shopper. It is super simple, and the, the value on the kit is crazy. The only thing is, you can't get celebration items with your $125 that you order in the kit because you're already getting a free bundle, and you're getting so much more free stuff. So we can't double dip. But once you order your um, discount shopper kit, you can then place another order where you do qualify for any celebration, just like anybody else. So it's a it's a win-win, it's pretty cool. Okay, I have mail, beautiful mail. So let me show you what I got this week. Not, not like gazillions of mail, so don't worry about that. Oh, this is another one. I didn't, I didn't get tons and tons of mail this week, but just some really pretty things to share with you. Now. All of these will be shown on my blog, still photos, all the dimensions, and a link to this video. So you can go back and watch the replay. You're gonna find an ingredient list with all the colors that I use. You can click on it, it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. This is my current host code. I appreciate you using that if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, don't use this code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those but only when your order's over $150. So when you use this host code with your orders under $150, that lets me accumulate rewards for orders, and that's how I can give away door prizes and stuff like that. So I really appreciate your help there. Okay, let me set this stuff aside so I can show you my pretty mail. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, I was like, woo -hoo! This is from Mary Swanson of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Look at how pretty this is. Is this not beautiful? Yeah. Mary sent me a card. Let's see. Oh, she was having problems with a stamp that she didn't think was stamping right. And so she contacted me and I said, nope, 
you need to call Stampin' Up! And of course she did and they replaced it. It arrived and it stamps perfectly. So she was sending me a thank you card for that. Mary, you are so sweet, but isn't this just so pretty? I love the use of the designer paper here in the fun fold. Very, very pretty. Oh, and look at her beautiful envelope with the paper. Yay, Mary, you're killing it. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, let's see. Next up, where's my mail? Oh, here it is. All right, I got, ooh, this pretty one. This is from Patricia Perrin. <gasps> Beautiful hand penned. Love, love, love this. Thank you for all you do. Is she not sweet? Patricia's in my technique club, and she was submitting her rewards form. So she sent me a card to go with that. Gorgeous, beautiful card. Here comes another one from Heather. Whoops, Heather Sides. Look how pretty this is. And this uses the pocket fold that I showed last week, which is super cool. Thank you so much for the box of goodies I received from my bingo win. I'm so excited to dig in and play. Heather, thank you so much for playing bingo. Don't forget, registration for bingo ends on Wednesday at noon. Bingo is $35. We have so much fun. Five different cards, live YouTube class with bingo thrown in between. Thank you, Heather. Then I got this from my niece, Emma, and how pretty is this card? Again, I've got hair everywhere. I don't know, I must be shedding. It says, Aunt Kelly, thank you so, so much for all the stamping supplies. That was so kind of you to think of me. I appreciate all of it. So, little funny story. My sister messages me and says, what should she, Emma, my niece, Emma use to mount this paper onto this board to take to the fair? Because she's entering it in competitions at the fair. She's a fabulous artist. And I said, well, I think tear and tape would work best. Okay. Then she messages me a couple days later and says, can you bring some? Do you have any? Can I buy some from you? And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're not buying anything from me. So I took the tear and tape up and then I loaded up a big bag of retired product and I took paper and a, some stamp kits and some stamp sets and oh my gosh, just a huge tote. All she asked for was tear and tape. So she had a pleasant surprise and I know she really appreciates, appreciates all the goodies. Next up, look at this beautiful card. Oh, I love this printed acetate, right? This is from Kathy Shaning. She says, Kelly, thank you for all you do for everyone and especially me. The box has foam sheets to protect the bling on your cards. So Kathy dropped this off. Oh, and look at, isn't this cute? Little candy corns. I love candy corn. You guys know that I'm like obsessed with candy corn. But look at this. Look at this pretty box. And then let me see if I can get this open so oh, Kathy I don't want to wreck this whole thing doo, doo, doo. let me see if I can oh there we go there we go it's taped Whew. I don't want to destroy the whole thing Ooh, this is some really good tape but she explained to me what was in the box look at how she used that laser cut paper for the window isn't that pretty yeah look at that oh what a great idea so look what she did. She took all of this packaging. This is like foam packaging you get when you order stuff, right? She took all of this and cut it up for me and it is the perfect size to put over my cards that have lumps and bumps on them before you put them in the envelope so it doesn't tear your envelopes. Only a stamper can appreciate a box filled with these foam things. And when she told me, she was like, I want to, like, she was like, I kind of want to tell you what this is so you don't, you know, think it's whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is a fantastic idea. <laughs> genius, Kathy. Absolute genius. So she gave this to me for my birthday. So thank you so much. Beautiful card, beautiful box. And I love the little candy corns. They're precious. Next up. Oh, I got to show you this one. This is from Sharon Kersey. And if you'll recall, Sharon likes to send me dish towels or other items, but dish towels with matching cards. So I've got this beautiful little, your very sweet kitchen towel. 
that of course matches our strawberry paper that was part of the spring mini catalog. But look at how cute that is, you guys. You guys remember? So she, um, oh, I, well, I'll have to show you this too, but she says, I was lucky enough to be number 40 in your COVID series. So today I'm sending you another kitchen towel for Steve, LOL. Do you guys remember she sent me some really cute towels and I told her that Steve likes to wipe his face and his dirty hands on my towels. Like he'll wash them, like not really. He'll like, and then rub them off and rub all the barbecue sauce or whatever. He doesn't get his hands clean when he washes them. He wipes it all over my towels. So I said, he's the reason why I can't have pretty things. <laughs> well, that's exactly what she's getting at here. And she says, here's, I'm sending another kitchen towel for Steve. <laughs> I laughed and laughed. Then I told Steve the whole story. And he was like, he was kind of like, well, that's not very nice to me. Because I told everybody that he's the reason why I can't have pretty things. And I said, but you are. And then we laughed and he agreed. <laughs> But anyways, so um, she sent me two stamp sets, too, to give away. She found some duplicates, and I always appreciate that. But anyways, look at this. This card is, um, oh, what do they call this? Bay window card. Ready? Look at, look at how it goes, and it tucks into this little strawberry here. Isn't that fun? Do you guys want to learn how to make this? I think I could show you. <laughs> Isn't that cute? But anyways, look, here's the card. Look at all that designer paper. That was just the best designer paper, wasn't it? Loved it. But this, yeah, this is called the bay window because it goes out like this. Super, super cool. Okay, Sharon, you are the just the sweetest. Oh, and she decorated her envelope too. Just like I taught everybody. <laughs> and here are a couple of these stamp sets. So I will be adding these to my stash that I give away and um super fun thank you thank you thank you always appreciate that and let's see where oh and it came in the super cute little envelope isn't this pretty this is like fun mail this is happy mail this makes me happy all right you guys so i have um catalog kickoff live at 10 a.m central time tomorrow morning if you are part of the catalog kickoff make sure you can join me if you can we're going to have a whole bunch of fun. I have some fantastic cards to share with you. And um, if you're not part of the catalog kickoff, but you would like to be, you can still get in. If you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy, it's free. Um, message me and I'll give you the link. But you have to tell me, like, I'm a member of Stamp Happy Academy so that I don't have to spend a lot of time digging around. That would be great. I would appreciate it. Um, if you'd still like to get in, it's $10 for the catalog kickoff or it's $19.95 to be a member in Stamp Happy Academy subscription website. Fantastic, amazing stuff on this website. You get four online classes every month. Every single month, four new online classes when you are a member of the Stamp Happy Academy for only $19.95 a month. You can get a premium membership, which includes stamp happy academy live classes so dina barb and i each do a live class every month in the premium membership for 34.95 if you're a stamper it is the most fun you're gonna love it but if you join stamp happy academy for 1995 you can get into the catalog kickoff event for free and even though it started on august 3rd you can still see all of the stuff in a Facebook group. You can watch Dina's live video from the other night. There's a meet and greet where Dina, Barb, and I are joking around and show you how to use the, the Facebook page to your benefit and show you where the things are. Prizes are still being given out. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So if you're confused now, just contact me and I'll straighten you out. <laughs> I know it's a lot of information. I'm like, I confuse myself. Anywho. All right, you guys, um, don't forget, celebration is in full swing. We have celebration items available while supplies last. If they don't run out of them to, until September 30th, it is the best time of the year to join my team. You can build a business or be a discount shopper. I will never, ever push you to do more than you want to do. It's completely up to you. The majority of my team are discount shoppers, and I love everybody equally. So, never discriminate. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful, fantastic week. I will see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. if you're in the catalog kickoff. Can't wait to stamp with you again. My photos and stuff from tonight are probably going to be a little delayed depending on how much work I can get done. I've still got three more cards to get together for my live in the morning. So hope you guys have a fantastic week. Please don't forget to click that share button. Um, give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button. That helps me in the Facebook analytics. If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on the share, ring the bell, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And just know that I really appreciate spending some time with you tonight. Thank you for taking time out of your night to do that with me. Have yourselves a great week. Bye-bye.